The following video is a recap of my Meltan quest, which of course was sort of last minute, and on top of that, there are some times I messed up because of forgetting to shoot some clips during some moments of the making of this video. Welcome to Lewis's Adventurous Place Pokemon Go with me, Lewis Marinucci, as your host. In this video, I talk about the release of Meltan when it was first launched into Pokemon Go and how I completed it in one setting. Originally, it was going to be multiple parts, but because I was able to completely wrap it up and complete it before the Let's Go event ended, here's how it came out. And Meltan is finally live in Pokemon Go. The first quest requires me to catch 10 Pokemon, spin 5 Pokestops or Gyms, and transfer 10 Pokemon. For quest number 2, we have to earn 2 candies by walking with our buddy Pokemon, making 10 great throws, and lastly, hatch 2 eggs. We just completed quest number two. Now quest number three requires us to catch a ditto, battle two gyms, and win two raids. Stay tuned everyone as I finish these tasks. I had just completed quest three, which of course consisted of five electric types and five steel types. And, of course, earning five candies with your buddy Pokemon. As I stated originally, this was meant to be a two-part video. So, instead, it's now just one video. We have finally reached step five of this quest. Let's go, Meltan. So far, now we have to evolve a Grimer. Catch five Slugma or Gloopin. And make 20 great throws. Now we are at task number 6. Now I have to evolve a Magnemite. Catch 5, execute, and do 10 raids. During the Cresselia raid, I um, ended up getting cut off while filming because of an unwanted phone call. But of course, afterwards, as you'll see... All the troubles I went through just to get my first Crest Elia were worth it and patience paid off and I got my wonderful reward. During this raid it was a struggle to take down Crest Elia. Sav had his alt account with him but of course when it came time to catching it I, it was a struggle and I thought I was never going to catch it but of course Sav came through for me, and in the end, I finally got this Cresselia because of the fact I was having a bit of a meltdown 
trying to do my first Cresselia raid over at City Hall. But of course, in the end, after all the troubles I went through, I got a near perfect Cresselia. A 98%. We did it. I finally got my first Cresselia and I owe it to my good friend Sav over here. We are still on the search for Meltan. I still got more raids to do before I can wrap up this video. As part of my um, Meltan quest, I thought I'd do another um, Cresselia raid. Of course, I ended up being joined by Julian, respectively known as DX1, and others over at the 13th and Chestnut Sprint store. Unlike the first raid with Cresselia, this one ended in total failure, and you will see why. We are joined here by D we are joined by DX1 himself here, and we are about to do this raid here, my second Cresselia raid, and Sav is also joining us. Unlike the first Cresselia raid, I didn't catch this one because of the fact it kept popping out of the ball, but it didn't matter because of the fact. It still counted towards my Meltan quest. And unfortunately, Julian himself did not catch it either. As you'll see in his video for his Meltan quest. But of course, I had fun and I'll never forget doing this raid with him and Sav. For task. Six, I forgot to um, shoot in-game footage because of the excitement of how close I was in getting Meltan and the fact that the Let's Go event was ending a week after I wrapped up filming of this video. We have finally completed task six of the Let's Go Meltan quest. Now we have to evolve a Scyther, a Drowsy, and catch a Cubone. For this clip, I also forgot to shoot in-game footage, but I couldn't talk in my normal outdoor voice because of the fact I was on a SEPTA bus heading home to wrap up this quest at the time I shot this one. But in the end, I succeeded and I had fun looking for Meltan. We are at the home stretch of this quest. Now I have to catch an Aerodactyl, which I already caught two Anorth, and then two Kabuto or Ammonite, and then Meltan will be ours. We're at the finale of this video. It was worth Catching all those different Pokemon, battling gyms, doing raids, transferring Pokemon, to even hatching eggs here and there. In the end, I had fun. It was worth it. But though I do wish I did shoot more footage for this video. But, of course, I don't regret ever making it. We have finally made it to the end of this quest. We're about to catch Meltan in Pokemon Go. Stay tuned and watch me as I finally nab this new legendary that was added into the game, which was a tie-in with the Let's Go games for the Switch. We have finally did it. We finally caught Meltan, and now this video is, a, is officially wrapped up. If you like this video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure!